Fallout 76's reveal on Sunday was certainly polarizing. Rather than focusing on the negative, I wanted to talk about something more interesting, like the new creatures we saw during Bethesda's presentation. These are 10 new creatures in Fallout 76. Number 10, Rad Wasp. There are rad stags and rad roaches. The only logical step forward was rad wasps, seemingly giant wasps that have been mutated by radiation. As with every creature on this list, we don't know a whole lot about them. My assumption is that these rad wasps will sort of act like East Coast Cazadors, since Cazadors evolve from Tarantula Hawks, a special type of spider wasp. The problem is that the rad wasps' wings don't look like they would be able to get it off the ground. There's also some sort of hive or nest on the back of the rad wasp. Maybe the giant one we see is the queen, and the smaller wasps live in the hive. Its legs are also larger than you would expect a wasp's legs to be at that size. But that makes sense, since its wings are probably useless. Plus, the rad wasp has pincers coming out of its mandible like an ant. So maybe this is some sort of ant-wasp hybrid. Number 9. Snallygaster This little guy might be the most alien looking thing on this list. Its skin is a pink purple color, it doesn't appear to have any eyes, its back is thick and has barbs sticking out of it. There are also smaller arms coming out of its almost hunched back. The real treat is the Snallygaster's head, which houses its tongue. To attack, its tongue comes flying out of its mouth. The tongue is spiked, barbed, sharp, pointed. I'm, I'm not gonna keep going, I'm not a thesaurus. I would assume that there's some substance covering the tongue, so you have more to worry about than just getting hit with it. The Snallygaster also has two more limbs towards its rear side, behind its main hind legs. They're not large enough to touch the ground. My only thought is that they might be like the swimmerettes found on a crayfish. Number 8. Gas Mask Guy He, she, it doesn't have a name yet. We only got a small glimpse at this probably not friendly fellow. It has a hunchback, oddly large hands, a gas mask, and a cloak which conceals its face. There is a slight resemblance to the ghost people, but its visible hands suggest to me that it's not trapped in its suit or clothing, at least not completely. My guess is that this was some kind of hazmat worker or citizen trapped out in the elements when the bombs fell, with the radiation fusing the gas mask to its face. The hands also have a green-yellowish color to them, which is more evidence that this is some sort of a ghoul-esque creature. It's shown near a mine, so the cloak may be to protect it from the sun, similar to slags from Fallout 2. A different shot shows Gas Mask Guy attacking a group with two claws or blades coming from its left arm. Number 7. Thing with Orange Eyes I don't know what to even call this. For some reason, I'm getting owl vibes from it, but I feel like I'm the only one who sees this and thinks owl. Because I wasn't sure what I was looking at, I played around with a screenshot in Photoshop and noticed a few things. There's still not much to see, but I think I see two legs and two limbs tucked against its body. Obviously, there's the orange eyes and antennas. It also looks like there's a shell on its back, so this could be some kind of Mirelurk. If you look at a Mirelurk, you can see those two similar pointed legs in front and two limbs tucked against its body in the center. It's kind of small to be a Mirelurk, but we don't really have much else to go on with this one. Number 6. Mega Sloth From what I can tell, this just looks like a giant sloth, with the exception of some fungus growing on its back and some discoloration in the fur. There doesn't really seem to be any horrible mutations with this one. It doesn't have a dozen eyes or hook hands. It's probably faster than your average sloth, probably stronger too. Sloths are not indigenous to West Virginia, so the one we see in the gameplay is most likely from a zoo. I hope it's a zoo, because zoos have donkeys, and donkeys are better than sloths. There may be hope yet for all three of us who have been wanting Bethesda to put irradiated donkeys into Fallout. Number 5. Liberator Mark II these four-legged robots appear briefly in the Fallout 76 gameplay we see during Bethesda's E3 presentation. They're light blue, almost cyan, with a hint of seafoam green robots that seem to attack in packs. They have an orange spot in their center cylinder that fires an energy blast. Liberators also have propellers that come out of the top of their presumably metal top, allowing them to hover while attacking. It looks like they can also use one of their legs to do a melee attack as they leap into the air. The Mark II in their name suggests that they're the second revision of some creation, but the Liberators don't appear in any other Fallout games. 
so who makes them or where they come from remains a mystery. Although there is a Chinese star on the side of the Liberator, so maybe China plays a role in Fallout 76. Number 4. Giant Frog This is one of the new creatures that we get the best to look at because there's concept art of it that was shown at E3. It's a frog, or toad, I don't know the difference, with seemingly dozens of eyes, razor sharp teeth, two smaller jointed ventral appendages in addition to its hind legs used for jumping and its front legs used for froggy things. It's got some disease or fungus or something on its back as well, but for the most part it really does just look like a giant frog. Number 3. The Grafton Monster, a West Virginia legend. The Grafton Monster, from what I've read, is akin to Bigfoot, just with a West Virginian twist. Descriptions suggest that the monster is either headless or keeps its head tucked into its chest. The in-game version of the Grafton monster doesn't appear to have a head. It's mostly a whitish color, is big as hell, has gigantic arms and hands almost the size of a person, which look to be its main instrument of destruction. Number 2. This thing. I, I, I don't know what this thing is. I'll just call it Larry. Larry appears to be a pale white creature approximately 6 to 7 feet tall, with long, thin arms, and, judging by the animation shown following Larry's reveal, black nails or maybe short claws. Larry is fast, too. He runs in a quadrupedal manner, but stands up on his hind legs to attack by swinging his arms. His forearms and legs lack the muscles and tissue between the bones as seen here, which makes Larry almost look like some sort of mutated skeleton. Number 1. Scorch Beast This thing is something. It looks like the Scorch Beast will end up being one of the largest non-unique enemies in a Fallout game to date. Not as big as a super mutant behemoth, but still huge. It almost looks more like a dragon than a mutated creature. The Scorch Beast is likely a mutated bat of some sort. The wings and head certainly give it a bat vibe. Bats emit sound waves from their nose or mouth to navigate and find food in the dark. What comes from the Scorch Beast's mouth when attacking looks similar to common depictions of echolocation, suggesting that the bat's main method of finding food mutated into a way to attack its prey. It's also got some pretty sharp teeth and big ol' talons for good measure. Alright, that's going to do it for this video about 10 new creatures in Fallout 76. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. I have a Patreon, you could support me on there if you like. My name is Paul of Bin Squad. Have a wonderful day.